Alright guys, uh, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about the Toronto Maple Leafs, so in our NHL offseason talk. So, I know I said yesterday that I'm going to do this uh, once a week, and after I made that video, then I realized that that's going to be like in 30 weeks that I'm going to get this done. So instead, I'm going to do two Per day, like once in the morning and once during the day, once at night or whatever. Um, so the Toronto Maple Leafs are number two, and all right, let's get let's get right to it. So the draft picks, so they have eleven um, draft picks in the, this upcoming draft. Which is in three days. So they have one first round pick, two second round picks, two third round picks, four, two fourth round picks, one fifth round pick, two sixth round picks, and one seventh round pick in the upcoming draft. So they tr okay, well, they traded away their the Pittsburgh pick that they got from Pittsburgh Penguins when they traded away Phil Kessel last year. And which is was the thirtieth pick to the trade that way, but we'll get to the trade after. So yeah, eleven round picks and eleven draft picks, and the Toronto Maple Leafs are gonna obviously draft um, their franchise center, um, Austin Matthews. So yeah, and. So, um, all right, let's get down to the roster. We'll first, get to the cap space. So, apparently, they have two point one million because uh, they signed Frederick Anderson. If they, if they have two point one million, how are they gonna like try and go after Stan Stamkos? Because I don't think they can. But what? Whatever, two point one million, and. Um, all right, let's get down to the roster. So the roster, um, uh, they have Joffrey Lupul, Nazem Kadri, Blok Brooks, like James Van Riemsdyk, Tyler Bozak, Milan McCulloch, Leo Karmoff, Colin Greening, William Nylander, P. A. Parento, Michael Grabner, Frederick Gothier. Don't know how to pronounce them. Probably butchered it. Uh, Brad Boyce, unrestricted free agent. Peter Holland, restricted free agent. Brad Boyce won't be resigned. Won't be signed. And Peter Holland will not be re Yeah, Peter Holland will be signed. I think he will. And our let's go on to the defense. Morgan Riley, Jake Garner, Jared Cowan bought, got bought out by the Toronto Maple Leafs. So Jared Cowan is no longer Trump is a Maple Leaf. Stefan Robita, Matt Hunwick, Frank Corrado. T.J. Brandon and Martin Merson. Defensive core, um, I guess Riley and Gardner are the number one two guys. And Riley's, Riley, Morgan Riley's going to be our best defenseman. And the goaltenders, they have um, Frederick Anderson, Jonathan Bernier, Garrett Sparks, and Antoine Bebo. So let's get down to the trade. So last night, yesterday, um, after my, when my video got uploaded to YouTube, the Anaheim Ducks and the Toronto Maple Leafs made a trade. So the Toronto Maple Leafs traded away their first round pick in this year's draft, which is the 30th pick, to the Anaheim Ducks and a second round pick in next year's draft. And now... Um, Toronto got their number one goaltenders. They've been looking for this for a while. And they got Frederick Anderson. That's right, Frederick Anderson. And then after the trade, he signed a five year deal, 5.0 million. So, yeah. Great trade for both teams. Anaheim Ducks got the 30th pick. They. 
their scouts are yeah, really good at scouting. Because um, 30th pick, they got Ricard Raquel. Well, at the 28th, they got Corey Perry. And then they also got Shia Theodore. At the 30th, or the 28th, or 30th. So, yeah. And Toronto got their number one goaltender. Starting goal, starting goaltender. And free agency. So, this, okay. So, that's the roster. Um... Oh wait, I forgot. Um, and pretty soon they're gonna have Austin Matthews. They also have uh, Mitch Marner down in the OHL, the London Knights, when they won the champ championship, Memorial Cup championship. You know, Nylander. Yeah, their prospects is William Nylander. He's gonna have full year, full season next year, and. We get to see Frederick Anderson and Neff for the first time. Debuted for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And Jonathan Bernier. Okay, um, since they got traded for Frederick Anderson, what's going to happen with um, Jonathan Bernier? Is, is he going to be traded? There's been talks that he's going to be going to Calgary Flames. Apparently, uh, Calgary Flames uh, failed to get... Um, okay, no, no, no. For, for, forget what it... Forget it. Because I'm talking about Toronto Maple Leafs, and I'm talking about other other teams. So apparently, yeah, Jonathan Bernier, um, he might get traded, and they can use, I don't know, they're probably going to use uh, Garrett either Bebo or Sparks as their backup. Their friend of Grant Anderson. Oh, you don't know? Alright, so free agency, um, they're 2.1 million. Huh. What can they get? I don't I don't know. Maybe get some depth for the team. Some scoring. Um, I don't know. Alright, playoffs question and mark. Um Will they make the playoffs? When I'm looking at this team, and if they, are they gonna make the playoffs? Um, I don't think they are gonna make the playoffs. I'm gonna say no on the playoffs. So yeah. In my opinion, I think the Toronto Maple Leafs have the best prospects in the NHL. Prospects for the future. Because they got William Nylander, they're going to get Austin Matthews, they have Mitch Marner. Like, those have like, like Connor Carrick down in Marley's, they can, he can turn out to, to be something. They also have, um, yeah, this is like a bunch of names, like Victor Louvre or Josh Levo. Um, yeah, there's some, there's some great, there's some great players for the future for them, and yeah, all right, so that is my Tr Toronto Maple Leafs, the number two, Toronto Maple Leafs, and later on today, we're going to be talking about another Ontario team, and that is going to be the Ottawa Senators, so yeah, all right, so we'll see you guys later, and hopefully you like this video. So, yeah. See you guys later.